guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And I am here today with a mini haul from the 99 cent store. I haven't been there in a while and decided to pop in today. And I found some great things and I wanted to share them with you. It's not a bunch of stuff because we really don't need a lot of stuff. Um, for, for those of you that have been following our channel, you know that we're expecting a baby pretty soon. And I am currently in the middle of doing a freezer and pantry challenge, but these deals were so good um, that I just couldn't pass them up. So let me jump in. So the first thing that I was super excited about um, were these Hanson's sodas. And um, this is root beer flavor. And they do expire pretty soon. I got these for Howard. He likes root beer. I'm not a big root beer fan at all. So I know that he'll drink these pretty quickly. But in addition to the root beer flavor, they also had a mandarin lime, and then they also had a grapefruit, but I just grabbed one. Ordinarily, I probably would have picked one from um, one of each flavor, but like I said, we really are trying, well, I'm really trying um, to use what I got because, what I have, because I just tend to go crazy buying groceries sometimes. So I just got one six pack of the root beer. And then another great deal that I couldn't pass up was this Naked Berry Blast. And this doesn't expire until November 10th. So that was a really good deal. So I have a month to use this up. And um, for those of you that aren't familiar with Naked, all it is is fruit um, that's been pureed and blended. This is a big container. This is 64 ounces. And let me see if I can show you the ingredients, if I can focus in. So there are the ingredients. So that was a pretty good deal. Another thing that I was super excited to see were these Adele's teriyaki and pineapple chicken meatballs. So Howard and I went to Sam's, oh gosh, it's been a while ago, and they had these out um, for samples. And Howard really liked this flavor, teriyaki and pineapple. <laughs> when I brought these home just a little while ago, he couldn't remember. I do remember him really liking these a lot. Now, I'm not a big pineapple person. Um, like I like pineapple juice, but just to eat the fruit itself, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, but you know, uh, hopefully I'll like them, you know, more than I did when I tried them as a sample. But I got two packages and again, these were 99 cents, which is a steal. I'm gonna throw these in our freezer. They don't expire until November though. And then the other flavor that I got of the Adels is the caramelized onion, which is definitely more at my alley. And I got two packages of those two. And you guys know 99 cents is a steal. They also had some um, chicken sausage links by Adele's. I didn't get that because I wasn't crazy about the ingredients in it. They, it had um, black beans and I think it was flax seeds or something like that, something I wasn't into. So skipped out on that. And then I got some of these Orita Simple and Creamy Mashed Potatoes Home Style. I have hauled these from the 99 cent store before, but I have not seen them in a while. And I actually thought um, that they weren't gonna get them in anymore. And this is a big family size. I love these mashed potatoes because the only thing that they have in them, and let me see if I can find it for you. Here it is. Our potatoes, cream, and butter, that's it. I love these things. You pop them in the microwave and they really do taste homemade. They also had, in addition to just the simply creamy mashed potatoes, they had the, um, the potato and cauliflower mixed, like the mixed um, mashed potatoes and cauliflower. But we don't like cauliflower, so I didn't get that. And by the way, I forgot to mention to you, if you're not familiar with the 99 cent store, everything there is not, most everything there, I should say, is 99 cents, but they do have some things that are like $1.99, $2.99, $5.99, etc. cetera. Kind of like what the Dollar Tree is doing right now. You know, they have their stuff that's a dollar and then they have stuff that's more. So it's pretty similar um, at the 99 cent store, but I definitely think that the 99 cent store has a better variety of uh, food and more things for 99 cents for sure, okay? So then also, I've been wanting to try these um, French's um, 
crispy fried onions. Now I buy the regular ones, but these have white cheddar. And I've been wanting to try these and they were 99 cents, so I couldn't pass them up. They do expire in, expire in November, but that's okay. Um, and then the other thing they had was white chocolate chips. With Christmas coming up, I like to do a lot of baking and a lot of my recipes call for white chocolate chips. And you know, 99 cents for some white chocolate chips is a really good deal. They had Nestle and they also had Baker's. Now the reason that I got, I would normally get the Baker's instead of the Nestle's, but the Baker's expired. Mm, I mean, they're white morsel chips. They expired in like in a, a week or so. They expired in October. And then these don't expire until, let's see, uh, January. Sorry, I couldn't find it, January. And then the last thing that I saw, non-food item, is this Purell Professional Surface Disinfectant. I've seen a few people haul it and um, I'd forgotten about it but it disinfects food contact surfaces, no rinse required. And let me show you everything that it does and everything that it fights. So I thought that was a really good deal. So, like I said, I didn't pick up a lot of stuff, but the stuff that I got, I was like, wow, this is a great deal. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I hope you all liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, we hope that you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. See you guys next time.